For an isothermal process, the work done on an ideal gas by its environment during an expansion from an initial volume to a final volume is given by work equals minus the number of moles of the ideal gas times the gas constant times the temperature of the gas divided by the natural log of the ratio of the gas's final volume to its initial volume. Let's start by illustrating the gas in its initial and final states. The gas begins at some initial volume and isothermally expands to a final volume. The gas in its initial state has a certain number of moles, an initial temperature, an initial volume, and an initial pressure. Through a thermodynamic process in which work is done on the gas by its environment, the gas will expand at constant temperature to a final thermodynamic state with the same number of moles at the same temperature, but a different volume and a different pressure. A PV diagram is a useful tool that helps illuminate both qualitative and quantitative aspects of various thermodynamic processes. Here we have the initial state of the gas represented on the PV diagram. Since the gas undergoes an isothermal expansion, I know the final pressure will be less than the initial pressure and the final volume will be greater than the initial volume. I know this because these two states lie on the same isotherm. It can be shown that the work done on a gas by its environment may be found by integrating pressure with respect to volume. The ideal gas law says the product of pressure and volume is directly proportional to the temperature. So let's use the ideal gas law to express pressure as a function of both temperature and volume. Pressure is equal to the number of moles times the gas constant times the ratio of the temperature to the volume. Applying this to the integral for work, we have work is equal to the negative of the integral of nRT over V dV. This is an isothermal process, so the temperature during this process is constant. Since temperature is constant, we can rewrite the work done on the gas by pulling the constants outside of the integral, leaving the integrand as dV over V. Our calculus classes have taught us that this integral will evaluate to minus nRT times the natural log of the volume, evaluate it from the initial volume to the final volume. Applying the limits of integration leads us to the work done isothermally on the gas by its environment is equal to the negative the number of moles of the gas times the gas constant times the temperature of the gas times the natural log of the ratio of the final to the initial volumes of the gas. So we have now shown 
what the work is due to an isothermal expansion of an ideal gas.